live from Chicago, Illinois, it's theCUBE, covering Veeam On 2018. Brought to you by Veeam. Welcome back to Chicago, everybody. This is theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. My name is Dave Vellante, <laughs> and I'm joined by my co-host, Stuart Miniman. Ratmir Tamashev is here, he's the co-founder of Veeam, and in my opinion, the man who brought Veeam into the modern era, created the persona of Veeam, allowed it to punch above its weight. Ratmir, thanks for coming back in theCUBE. Thank you, Dave. Great to see you again. Thanks, Stuart. So congratulations on another you know, kickoff to a, another great event. The, you painted Chicago green, love it. Um, first of all, how do you feel? Uh, fantastic, awesome. It's a great venue, great city. The weather is finally nice, so uh, yeah. spring is, uh, is, is here finally, so uh, we have a great time. Yeah, we had a little trouble getting in, but everybody's here, everybody's here safely, which is the most important thing. I want you to talk about the evolution of, of Veeam. You've, you started out as a virtualization specialist, generally VMware specialist, especially focusing on small business. We used to see you everywhere. Um, now you're extending into the enterprise. What's that all about? What's the vision? Give us your perspective. Dave, you're absolutely right. So Veeam started with the single focus to be the best for VMware. Uh, for VMware data protection, backup, replication. And uh, we started as the, the easy to use, simple, powerful solution for SMB, moved into mid-enterprise, and, and now we're uh, uh, adding lots of enterprise features and moving into the large enterprise. And last year was uh, really uh, uh, the most important and most successful year, 2017, in the history of Veeam. So we finally admitted that we've been lying to our customers for 10 years. You've been lying? Yeah, we've been lying. What do you mean by that? Um, <laughs> for 10 years we've been saying, Veeam is VMware only. Veeam is Hyper-V only. We will never do physical. Uh, so last year we introduced a comprehensive end-to-end -end platform to do everything, virtual, physical, and cloud. So we integrated our agent-based technology into the, our flagship product to provide a single pane of glass for, to manage all your data across the cloud, um, uh, end to end. Why well, lie for a decade? <laughs> that's, that's a good <laughs> question. You know, uh, when you deal with salespeople, smart salespeople, uh, that constantly ask you, hey, when are we, go are we going to do physical? <laughs> are we going to do physical? You have to tell them, no, never. Because once you say, yeah, we will do physical, the next question is? Yeah, when can I sell when? it? When, when yeah. can I sell it, right? <laughs> so, uh, so we don't want to give ourselves, we didn't want to give our salespeople an excuse to lose a deal because we've got the best virtual uh, go and sell the best virtual and make your hus uh, our customers happy. Yeah, and you don't want to head fake the customers yeah, either. Yeah, right? maybe explain what were the core principles back from the early days that are still holding true. What was the same and what's different now that you're doing cloud and virtual? Again, the it, core principle. Cloud and physical, I should say, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Core principle, uh, uh, again, uh, in terms of the product design or we are, think customer first. Make it easy for the customer and really stick to your core customer, that, uh, that customer that is using uh, your product every day. So make it easy, uh, powerful, uh, and uh, uh, affordable. That, that was uh, our core, core principles in uh, designing the product and uh, the whole business model behind Veeam. Talk about the metrics a little bit. We, Stu and I were talking at the open, 820 some odd million in booking, so you're on, you can see a billion dollars. So, we said the software companies that are a billion dollars are few and far between, so that's a huge milestone if and when you hit that. Um, but talk about that and the growth. Share with us whatever metrics you can. Again, 2017 was uh, one of the most successful years uh, in our history, yeah. Like you mentioned, uh, we recorded bookings revenue of 830 million and that was 36% uh, growth. Actually, our growth is accelerating as we become bigger. Uh, so we have, we just celebrated 300,000 customers. We are adding 4,000 new customers every day and Peter McKay, our president and co-CEO, mentioned uh, this morning at the keynote that we are adding 133 customers every single day. So that's, that's very impressive. Yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. So yeah, we, we, just to give you a sense, 300,000 customers, VMware, who basically owns the enterprise, has slightly over half a million customers. So yeah, so we, we, we probably are on 50% uh, of VMware, so we own 50% of VMware market in terms of data protection. So one of the challenges that we mentioned up front was, okay, so you 
drove a truck through the opportunity when virtualization VMware came in. And a lot of the incumbents were caught flat-footed. They didn't have the architecture, they didn't have the go-to-market, et cetera. Now things are changing. Moving to cloud, moving to this digital world. How does Veeam retain its edge in that new world? That's an excellent question. So um, that's the big opportunity that we see for the next five years. So we won the first battle, the battle of uh, um, on-prem, highly virtualized modern data center. We are the leader, we are number one data protection and availability for that market, right? So the next battle, the next uh, opportunity that we see for the next five years is to dominate the, what we call intelligent data management market in the multi-cloud multi world. So uh, we have to think how we approach that. Uh, uh, once you win the market, like there is a saying, the winner takes it all. Once you win the market, you are going to dominate that. So for us, the next two, three years are the most critical in uh, dominating this multi-cloud uh, world for the next uh, uh, for the next decade. Yes, sir. Ratmir, I, I'd love to hear. You know, you, you rode that virtualization w wave, um, which really was about creating uh, the you know virtualization admin huge shift going from silos to, to admins. Uh, and you know we're we're seeing that change from architects uh, in, in the cloud and the like. Uh, you know, to talk to you know who you selling to that that in, in the partners they have to grow. There's just so much change, uh, you know, happening in, in in that kind of environment. Yeah, we we see the change as we are moving from VMware administrator. Uh, so that originally the product was designed for VMware administrator. Now we are moving to the infrastructure person that is responsible not just for private part of your infrastructure, but for the multi-cloud strategy, which includes the public cloud, SaaS, physical servers, uh, everything that uh, uh, the modern enterprise has uh, as part of the infrastructure. Okay, so I want to go through um, just a couple of things that, that we talked about earlier um, and get your reaction to this. So, some of the things that we've seen in, in, uh, in, in our research is that data protection and orchestration are becoming much, much more important on the list of CXO concerns. Um, and that's something that your messaging is, is going after. But there's a, there's a dissonance between the, what the business expects out of data protection and what IT is actually, actually delivering. And I wonder if you could comment on that. Yeah, sure. So yeah, uh, we are introducing our new uh, message. So our previous message was focused on um, uh, on uh, VMware administrator. Now we are moving more into the enterprise and our message is about the, uh, the importance of data. Uh, we see the three characteristics of the modern data. Hypercritical, hyper, -critical, hyper uh, sprawl, and hyper growth. So uh, this leads to the need uh, of creating a new type of solution, what we call is um, intelligent data management solution to manage the uh, hyper-available enterprise. So we're using the word hyper a lot because the, the data is now hyper-critical, it's uh, over-distributed, hyper-distributed, and uh, is growing uh, exponentially. That, that's, that's part of our new message um, that we're delivering to the C-level people about how important this data, and all, with all the things that are going on in terms of the security, compliance, and how we're going to extend this platform to solve other uh, business uh, uh, issues and provide more uh, value, more business outcomes of using your data. Vim's important has grown within this enterprise customers. Right. However, uh, as we mentioned, we are moving further. We are not standing uh, still, so we have added lots of capabilities in terms of protecting uh, cloud, native cloud, AWS, Azure, as well as uh, physical servers. Um, um, so we are moving more into the end-to-end -end strategic data management platform provider uh, from being just a niche point solution. I, I, I want to give you another stat that came out of our research, which I think you'll love, is that it, our David Floyer calculated that on average a Fortune 1000 company over, a, I think, a three or four year period loses about a billion and a half dollars in value because of poor, poorly architected uh, data protection approaches whether it's either not end-to-end, -end, or they're not protecting their cloud data properly, or they're not doing, whether it's backup or disaster recovery properly, well over a billion dollars over a four-year period. Your thoughts? Yeah, that's, uh, that's similar to what our research shows as well. So we do annual uh, uh, research and ask our customers uh, how much downtime and data loss cost them annually or per hour, and that research shows that average enterprise 
can lose as much as uh, over $10 million per hour. Uh, so if you add it up over over four years, that that might be close to that number. But and with all the um, compliance and uh, new security risks and th security threat and ransomware, this is uh, becoming more and more of a um, uh, critical uh, business critical uh, problem uh, to solve. So this is a huge opportunity for for Veeam because when you think about your total available market, what a lot of time you know analysts will do is they'll add up all the spending on let's say data protection solutions, but to me, your TAM is actually quite a bit larger because of this lost revenue opportunity. Yeah, I don't know, it's many tens of billions, uh, you know, maybe 30 to 50 billion. I don't know if you have any thoughts on that. Yeah, definitely. So uh, uh, data protection is just part of that core market, right? So the data ma management is much bigger. And by data management, we mean not just the protecting the data, but uh, using this data to, uh, to help businesses to accelerate their innovation, right? So to reduce risk to, to comply with the new regulations. So uh, all these challenges are much bigger part of the, not just the data backup and recovery, it's uh, uh, overall data management mar market, which is much bigger and probably is measured in uh, 20, 30 billion uh, range. So okay, so you have 2,500, 3,000 of your, your favorite people here gathered uh, uh, this week. Uh, as always, I expect you're going to have a, a, a big send-off, a big party. What can we expect uh, this week? As always, that's part of the Vim culture, <laughs> is uh, work hard, play hard, and so Vim is known for having the best parties. Um, yeah, we, we now Peter runs the company day to day, but uh, culturally we still remain a young entrepreneurial uh, um, uh, spirited company, right? So we, we like party and we, we like to work hard. Well, you know, if you've never been to a Veeam party, you're, you're missing it. I, I don't usually stay for these things. I get out of here, we do so many cubes, but we'll be at the Veeam party this week. Just awesome. enough said. Awesome. All right, Ratmir, thanks, right, thanks very yeah. much. Always Thank a pleasure you, seeing you, and congratulations on all your success. Thank you very much. All right, you're welcome. Keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest. You're watching theCUBE from Veeam on 2018. We're in the Windy City, and we'll be right back.